Hello everyone. The year 2022 marks the 50th anniversary of establishment of the United Nations Environment Programme, the Global Authority for Protection of Environment. Yet globally, we are facing a significant challenge in terms of minimizing the impact of global warming and climate change. With ever increasing concentrations of greenhouse gases in the Earth atmosphere, the planet Earth is in deep danger, posing a significant threat to our future generation. We don't have a choice today. We need to be more responsible in all our actions to minimize the impact of climate change. While there can be global debate on common but differentiated responsibility, however, it's time to take real action. In the Glasgow Climate Summit, one of the major deliberations was to achieve global net zero by mid-century. In simple term, net zero means cutting greenhouse gas emissions to as close to zero as possible, with any remaining emissions reabsorbed from the atmosphere. This includes emissions from our own operation as well as our value chain emission. Our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi has committed to an ambitious Panchamrit pledge which includes achieving net zero economy by 2070. The transition is not going to be easy. It would call for many new policies and regulations, energy transition, access to new technology, research and development, capacity building, industrial symbiosis, and above all, huge capital investment. However, with stakeholder expectations building up, it's important that we aim for a net zero operation. In EY, we have already achieved carbon negativity and are continuing to focus on our ambition to achieve net zero by 2025. We have also developed a net zero playbook to help our business partners and associates to understand the concepts of net zero and aim for net zero operation. Thank you.